Bam, and welcome everybody. Today we're doing another custom campaign. Let's get on in. Uh, if you're not Angory Tom, you won't beat the campaign. Pow. So, luckily I am Angory Tom. The primal urges. Uh, let's see how this goes. We've got a bunch of shields. We've got a gigantic uh, hairy elephant type creature. Never seen one of those before. And a bunch of spear throwers. So I wonder, is this whole thing set up just to be won via, you know, the ancient strats? I'm gonna scissor kick you in the back of the head. The, the blister could have actually probably gone further back. That would have made more sense. So this build really doesn't work the same way that it used to. Uh, the, oh god, man, that mammoth is already very close and our ballista is not ready for it. Ooh. Okay, luckily he's been distracted a bit. Chonk. Oh, he got it. Uh, but by this stage, the blister would be firing at, like, max speed, but doesn't doesn't work anymore. Samurai giant? Two archers and a spear chucker? Sure. Uh, bam. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if... Oh my god, he's so agile. <gasps> wow, that guy's dead already. Okay, man, samurai giant, you've done great, but don't get too bogged down because... They will, they will literally kill you. They've got, like, spear throwers do a lot of damage. Like, they're not the fastest. Wow, that guy is definitely dead. How are ranged troops doing? Because they need to, like, help thin out these hordes. It's going pretty well so far. Uh, actually, a lot better than I was expecting. Uh, man, that samurai giant. Oh, got them both. Good job. Right, we have the Halfling Horde with the Harvester. That's good alliteration. Potion throwers. A couple of farmers. Loads of farmers. Hmm. Okay, those wheelbarrows. They can cause a lot of grief on that bridge. Uh, if we do muskets... Man, this is, like, really well set up. Because a good way to counter, like, the uh, wheelbarrows is, a, like, a good gun line that will get, like, a first strike on them. But whatever happens these guys will get shot first and then the wheelbarrows come in and the, definitely the muskets won't be able to like fire in time i think like let's try fences i just think maybe fences will work against um the harvester so we're, i'm hoping oh my god wow the i don't think we have to worry about that uh the harvester is dead and the wheelbarrows are across how good are the fences going to do against the wheelbarrows? Because they get to, like, leap in and do, like, a good melee attack. Uh, one of the wheelbarrows is down. We lost some fences. Oh, this guy's stuck. Can he turn in time? Uh-oh, the hordes. The hordes are amassing across the bridge. I didn't spot the scarecrow either. Uh, yeah, th there's no way. There's no way this goes well. That is too many farmers. Man, some of the fences lived. I am really impressed. Fences is one of those units that I don't really use that much, and I'm always pretty impressed when they do turn up. Oh my god, it's going really well. I don't think we're going to reload in time. This harvester is just going to walk down the line and just scythe one dude at a time. Uh, ooh. We're also going to get a uh, scarecrow unless someone... <gasps> someone dinked him! Wow, this... I cannot believe this is working so well. Uh, the guys, they are precariously close to the edge. Oh my god. What the hell? Am I some kind of tactical genius? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. <laughs> okay, right, you guys... You did great, so you enjoy having yourself a nice gun party. Uh, with, I don't like to do it, but we're gonna have to intervene. Uh, just because I'm so impressed that we even got this far. Blammo! We did it. Good job. Uh, okay, so, the Fallen Kingdom. We've got knights, we've got kings, a catapult. Man, like, a pretty, like, these are, like, nicely put together armies. They're, like, pretty balanced. Uh, you know, you've got the dudes at the front, they're gonna take most of the missile weapon shots. Backed up, big blobs of archers, really rate the big blob of archers, they're pretty terrifying. Two kings. It's a bit, it's a little bit odd, you know, two kings. But maybe one's a queen. Uh, who knows? I feel like we maybe like pumpkins because they've got layers. 
That could work. Like some of these candle heads to kind of keep them away from our arty. Man, it's a lot of units. I don't quite know how we take down the king, but it's a fun idea. Okay, right. That initial volley of pumpkins, not terrible. Oh, it didn't kill their arty. Okay, our front line is just absolutely mangled. The king cut through us. Like, just, n it took no time at all. Candleheads are not pushing him back. I think the pumpkins are the only thing that really did any work here. Um, yeah. They don't do enough, like, single target damage to actually take out a king, but pretty, pretty cool. What about Blackbeard? Just get Blackbeard up in there. You know, get him leaping in. Oh, we are such dum-dums. Man, we're trying to get all complicated. Samurai. So, the samurai can deflect a lot of the arrows. Uh, hopefully, Blackbeard... Is he? Oh, he's still alive. He might be able to do some work against the kings. Um, honestly, not sure. Ooh, okay. Oh, man, like that, that pumpkin. Oh my god. Okay, right. It saved its, saved its reputation. It bounced off of the catapult and didn't kill it. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh-oh, one of the pumpkins went back. Oh, no. Okay, we've got, like, one, like, sneaky guy back here. Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to take out enough of the archers plus the king. They're about to open fire on our, car like, catapults. Oh. Okay, right, we're gonna try the shogun. Maybe, we, like, counter them with their own plants. And then we just take more arrows. Oh, snake archers, and let's give them one of these discount cheerleaders as well to go with their snacks. Okay, right, Shogun is still in there. Maybe he took like a catapult. Oh god. Once again, he gets a bit too in deep and does not distract these knights long enough. Although he's doing great back there. He's dueling two kings. One of the kings is using behind the back style. Very, very famous in these parts. But the snakes are causing a bit of grief. Ooh. I think he is going to go down. He is dead. How are we looking? We've got snakes. We've got arrows everywhere. So, because we've got the snakes, we could actually do well against their archers here. It's the kings. The kings that I really worry about. But they are quite distracted by the snakes as well. This could be the perfect combination. Man, who would have known? Snakes. Snake o'clock. Oh god, the kings are not down yet though. And they have got a gigantic health pool. But, surrounded by snakes, pierced full of arrows. Man, this, this is like the kind of death you want as a king. That's like a real, real like, you know, death of legends. Ooh, we got him. Good job. Okay, the Battle of the Bastards. Oh, I get it. Shit. Battle of the Bastards. Like, uh, you know, uh, Gom of Thrones. Okay, there's a Ballista. There's the Stabos everywhere. This is not bad. We can use units that are really good at countering Stabos. Let's go in on... Let's get some Pirate Queens in here. I think they will be good versus those Hordes. Jeez, man, three Pirate Queens. That seems a bit nuts. That's a lot of nuts! I'm sure it's fine. See, like, the Reaper would be really good here. Uh, maybe we replace one of those with a Reaper, because he kind of, like, just deals with hordes really nicely. You can have some skellies. Actually, wait, I don't want them getting, like, spooked berserkers, because, hopefully, they're going to get themselves into kind of, like, messy spots. Uh, although, I guess the Pirate Queen actually kills off all of her allies... And, oh man, she's getting poked f so full of holes. Ooh. And by a ballista. What? Why is your head so small? What is this? Okay. Oh god, wow. Did the Reaper just execute our Pirate Queen? So, both are going to try and approach. Oh my god. Or it's just going to kill both of them. Okay, instead, those Berserkers... If they come over here, I want them to be far enough back that they have to jump, like really leap over. 
Okay, so then they get a bit more spread out. So one Berserker make it into here. It's dead. Okay, but another one is over here. Like, the more that... <gasps> the, the ballista went down. That's kind of like the most dangerous thing for us. Oh, the tag teams. We did it. Good job, everyone. The Chili Willies. Okay, there's the Mega Blob and Valkyries. This this sounds like, you know, just like six Pirate Queens uh, getting into that Mega Horde. Oh, they do have Ice Archers back there, though. Okay, I'm glad I spotted their sneaky hidden units. Well, I always like the this kind of goofiness of throwing longships into stuff. Hopefully the longships deal with all of those problems, and then we just have the vampire hordes. I like the vampires simply because they're fast. Uh, any... how do we on, like, 69? <gasps> Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, right, the boats. Uh, okay. Kind of a mess. Not really sure how much work they actually did for me. A lot of people are dead, but not everyone. And, man, those, like, hordes of vampires. Okay, impossible to watch at full speed. Okay, there's a l still Valkyries. Uh, we've got a couple of Yarls. Uh, man, the Yarls, definitely some of my favorite units. I'm not sure how our... How our vamps are doing. They're trying to get to people at, like, the bottom of these piles. And I think they're just getting cut down by ice arrows. Wow, look at them just, like, pinning this dude down, sucking his blood. Ooh, his friends are trying to save him, but... He's just getting sucked dry. Doesn't look great. Wow, just every now and again, like, just a blade comes out of the pack and stabs someone. Okay, because if the vampires can actually make it into the archers, they will win that fight, but... Not many are left. That was such a bloodbath. Uh, just... So brutal. Okay, right. They're leaving. Now they're heading for the archers. Okay, they pull the archers apart pretty quickly. And when they're flying, actually, they're pretty, like, pretty good at dodging. But I'm worried it won't be enough. Man, there are so many archers. And none of them had gone this direction initially. Oh, maybe, like, one or two. But I think our pack is going to get picked off. Oh, wow, the squire's still here. Hello. Ooh, man, just dodging arrows. Oh, oh, jeez. Buddy, that's not a good... That's not a good place to get hit. Well, I don't think you're going to win this fight for us. Oh, my God, the amount of arrows coming in. Our chilly vampires. Ooh, okay. So I'm making it through. Man, they get a couple of hits on these vamps when they fly over. Oh my god, like that ball of vampires descending on them. I really thought that they were going to get pulled apart, but... Man, good work. Even I'm surprised by that one. Oh my god, that's a lot of dudes. How many shoguns do you have? Man, the only like hard counter for a shogun I can think of is ballistas. It's even a Monkey King. This looks ridiculous. This fight. What the hell? What the hell? Maybe, like, Weight of Fire? Like, could Artemis get past the, uh, the Shogun? Like, two of them? And then we just have hordes. Hordes and hordes of something. Oh, Artemis. I don't really want you to, like, go too far forwards. Oh! Man, did those muskets kill all the Sensei? Very good! Wow, that is, like, a cheap ask. Even if they die now, like, man, uh, killing three sensei, what is that, like, 9,000 points, maybe? And we spent, like, a grand? And the same with these guys, they took out the two ninjas. So that feels like a good investment, straight up. Like, we get a net gain. Oh, God. Over there, doesn't look good. Ooh, this is very bad. Oh, Artemis, you do not last long against four Shogun. Like, that has to be artillery to take them out. Oh, although they are getting distracted. Did Artemis actually die? Oh, she is dead. So when they're gonna charge, they stop blocking. Oh my god, did you actually do it? You killed one. He's like there, guarding the body of his friend. And he goes down. 
this is kind of coming together. Like, not amazingly. They still have tons of units. We've got like a little gun line up here. Not doing great, but you know, they're trying. Uh, a monk is never going to be able to take on Artemis in a fight. Oh my god, the giant is drowning. Buddy. No. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Oh no, Artemis got hit. This is bad. She needs to kill anyone shooting at her. They still have a shogun. Uh, which could be her demise. Oh my god, like, him and his goons coming up. Oh, he's down. He, oh. oh my god, I cannot believe we did this. This was so good. Oh, it's this guy. Desperately holding on to his pacha. You can do it, Artemis. Put him out of his misery. Where are you going? You could have shot him from back there. Good job! Oh, our last unit. Man, that was a great, that was a great battle. Uh, okay, we've got hordes of chod. There's a sneaky vampire in there. What is that, like, lone vampire up to, just goofing around at the front? Okay. Uh, we've got a lot of bucks, just to try and save the computer from melting. Let's get, like, three giants. Uh, I feel like we want something just to kind of, like, add some, add some chaos to the map. I'm going to say, let's get snake archers. Okay, so the snake archers are literally there just to add a bit of chaos to this front line and uh, hopefully tie up some of their shooter units as well. Man, those, those like jousters coming in. Ooh, every now and again, one of our guys gets hit by a bit of sh like shrapnel. You do not want that. You guys are doing great back here. Man, this one, it's his birthday. Look how many balloons he's got. Okay, the majority of the infantry is dead, but they have taken so many hits from these cannons. Uh-oh. Oh, one of the giants is down. This is not good. I don't think the snake archers are doing nearly enough. This is Balloon Boy, Balloono the giant. He tried so hard. God, and he's dead as well. They've got tanks, and now my archers are being shot at by their Balloon Boys. This doesn't feel good. It's literally just snakes now, and I don't think we're going to have nearly enough snakes to uh, win this fight. Uh, I'm not sure if snake archers can take down a tank. I don't think I've ever, ever seen it. But a lot of the- oh my god, they can. And their infantry is kind of going down. Like, every now and again, a snake will just, like, go in and eat one of their, like, gunners. And it looks like the- Tank is blocking their balloon. What the hell? Could this all turn around? Another tank has fallen. This this is a real wild card all of a sudden. The tank is like just full on distracted by snakes. I guess we're hitting that critical mass where like more snakes are forming that it can kill and we did it. I can't believe you've done this. Wow, I was so close to like just starting again. My god. Shiver me timbers. We're against the pirates. What is this? His whole life he wanted to be a ballerina, but instead he was forced to be a barrel pirate. That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. I think maybe mixing it up, getting fences. I'm gonna try going like Horde a bit. I don't want to focus too much on Horde just because the pirate queens will just absolutely annihilate them. Like a big row of archers, uh, maybe we can get some fences down here to like fight these guys. Just I want them just to close in a little bit more. And we've got a load of points. Could get some giants. Okay, so I'm hoping that the f fences go in and... Ooh, kind of messy. Not a great trade. Uh, tree giants, just doing just beautiful work. Just really nice. Uh, fences down here did all right. Not amazingly. The cannons, mostly dead. Uh, the sensei across the river really slows him down, but maybe that's good. It keeps him out of the fight for a while. Okay, and we've got a lot of good distractions. And then just the archers just firing into this crowd. That's kind of how we're going to take down those pirate queens. Just give them like a dozen or so arrows and like they're going to drop. Uh, okay, there's a blunderbuss dude. 
uh, currently, you know, fighting clams. It's a good day for, for everyone, right? Sensei's here. There's still a giant. All the pirate queens are dead. Now... Uh-oh. Look at these, like, stone-cold killers using a giant's body as a barricade. That is such a cool idea. My god. Uh, now... Oh, buddy, come on. You can get out of there. Don't fall under the ship. Hold on. Please. Giganto. Fly, you fools. So I think we're probably going to have the numbers to take out this last cannon. Oh, god, the clams. Oh, they made it in. Good job. Uh-oh. Frightful delights. Spooky. Wow, okay. This is a wacky one. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. Right, it's a lot of skellies. Okay, I've got I've got some ideas here. Like, straight up. Uh, these big blobs of skellies, like, a single pirate queen will take down each of those blobs. Like, no problem at all. Like, these just all firing into that crowd. Oh my god, this gun line, this could be amazing. I don't think it's gonna work, but it, it'll be fun while it fails. Let's do it. This is, if any map was gonna lag, this is a big fight. We're gonna have to stay very slow-mo. Uh-oh. Didn't realize they had quite so many archers. Uh, boom! It's pumpkin time! Swordcasters, some of them are dead, but not all of them. I think our pirate queens all got just absolutely murdered in that front line. Oh no, there's one. But there's still too many archers for them to deal with. Uh, these side bits, the teams of pirate queens, they like just cleave through hordes. They are so good versus like a large number of troops. Is that, whose reaper is that? It's probably not ours. Oh nice, that was a good pumpkin. And it might even land on these boys. Blapo! That was amazing. We can even go like more slow-mo if we want. Like look at these bones just going everywhere. Okay, it's a reaper versus five pirate queens. Uh, so not entirely sure on how well it's gonna work. Ooh, they don't like getting shot from a distance. Man, like these slow motion just action scenes. You have a little bit of work to do climbing up here. Invading these last fortresses is going to be hard work. They've got archers, they've got artillery defending them. And, like, these queens have been through so much to get to this stage. Uh, they're doing great. Oh, man, each, like, sword swing just annihilates these guys. Blammo, just stabbing skeletons. Oh, man, I love skeletons. They're so good. I think your days are numbered here. I'm sorry, my skelly friends. This last moment. The catapult's dead. The queen's slowly dancing around. Okay, man, this went really well. Uh, you know, we saw a problem. We came up with a solution. Do we have any RT left? Ah, uh, we've got some. There's a bit of a, like, scrap heap. We'll be able to deal with that. Uh, this poor skeleton. Oh my god, he dropped one. Ooh. Oh my god, it sets her on fire. He got both of them. Oh my god, the kill streak. Tactical nuke incoming! I'm just gonna like help help our boys out. I'm just gonna try and like push them through. Cause otherwise this is never gonna end. Uh <laughs> oh. oh my god. Th that off-roading. We did a lot of work to get you here. Come on, you can do this. Come on, Bonesy. Oh, he's kind of lining it up. <gasps> this. This is the money shot, although you could get fired upon. You gotta watch out. Watch is out. it gonna work? Oh no. This has out. to be the you shot. <gasps> it was, and Bonesy didn't even die. Pow, good job. Wow, great job. Thanks for playing. Well, thank you for making it. That was a great set of things. Uh, you know, there was, they were hard, but it wasn't just stupidly hard. They were all like, you know, a bit more manageable. Um, fantastic. Excellent work. Um, uh, unfortunately the workshop, it doesn't tell you who made them. So I can't, I can't even shout out to you, but I loved it. Boom. That's a like. Until next time, everybody. See ya. Ah, it's me, Spino the Pirate. What a great set of videos these are. Tom's doing pretty good at tabs. Well, I'm here to remind you not to forget to put a comment below. 
uh, maybe share some love. It helps with things, I guess. Until next time, everybody, farewell.